time you file your tax in America. Larry King, every time you file your tax in Europa. Every time you file your tax in Australia. Jeff, every time you file your tax in Asia. Remember that your money can end in the pocket of some corrupt leader, or your money can be that money that is used to buy guns and ammunition to kill women and children in Africa because your government gives it to Africa as aid. So put pressure on your government to do more to stop oppression, Africa, oppression corruption, corruption, the 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 Africa, this be Africa, where I wanna be. This is where you got fruits on trees for free. And when it rains, you got diamonds on the ground for free. Sign, sign, and rain to grow the seed. Timber and gold, plenty, plenty. Now we got plenty oil, abundantly. Life for me, Africa, where I wanna be. Life is simple like ABCD. But everything is looking like horror movie. You know. In this life, you think Africa is the worst place to be, but they don't know Africa is full of life. They don't know Africa is full of peace. They don't know Africa is full of unity. You see, you wake up in the morning, you see your brother on the street, you say, good morning, how are you doing? Your African brother is going to respond to you. You see your brothers, African brothers all around the street, every single time, wanted to talk to you, ask about your health and all that. I don't see that in the West. Africans are full of peace. They want to know who they are. They want to know who you are. They don't want to know how close you are, you are to your neighbors. But these people came to us to take everything from us. They took everything from us. They took our peace. They took our language. They took our love. They took everything. But here we are. We're still staying strong and healthy. So today I want to talk about the unity uh, or how Africans can unite and things that will benefit Africans if we unite. African or African continent has a lot of natural resources which we don't even know. We don't even know. We always sit behind thinking Africa is nothing. Everyone wants to go out there, go to the west to make money, go see greener pastures. It's fine, it's okay because we've not built our own continent. If we should build our own continent, I think things will be at peace. Look at Ghana. Ghana has cocoa, Ghana has gold, Ghana has diamond, Ghana has oil. Almost every natural resource is Ghana has it. Look at Niger. Or others call it Niger. Niger has uranium. Niger has coal. Niger has oil. But look at it. All because we don't have industries to produce or to, to refine these natural resources for us to use. These African countries don't have factories, don't have industries to refine these natural resources. So we need to take it. One time my mom called me and she was like, uh, uh, they were having an advert on TV, they were talking about um, palm nut soup and this palm was in a can and she was like, I have palm tree, when it's cut down, it's taken abroad and they put it in a can and they bring it back to sell it to me, very expensive, whilst I can just pluck the palm, pound them myself and prepare the palm nut soup. So why do I take it there for, for them to charge me and buy this small thing in a can? for like expensive price it's so difficult out here we all need industries so Africans if we come together as one people plan and think as one people we can get these industries not going far from us let's go down to the south part of Africa Wadamaya shout out to Wadamaya Wadamaya went to Swaziland or the kingdom of Eswatini he showed us some many things like so many things Eswatini has Kingdom of Eswatini has 
One thing I loved about Kingdom of Eswatini was they actually made steel or mined steel by themselves when there were no Europeans, when there were no African, uh, Americans, when there were no white people to control them or bring in industries on how to mine these steel. Yeah, at the first and oldest mining site in the entire world. Is it true? I was told that this place is the oldest mine in the entire world and I wanted to come in here and see things for myself, learn something new and also educate so many people out there. So, are you ready to educate us? Welcome, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, so the, the long cave in the people mining here about 43,000 years ago when you get here. 43,000 years 43, ago? 43,000 years ago, that is the ancestors of the sun, that is the pushmen. Wow. They were mining hermitite. Huh? They were mining hermitite and specularite. Wow. So, as we know, it is because uh, this is during the Stone Age period. Huh? So, these people they didn't have modern tools just for mining. So, these whole eyes, if we were having map, which was going to show you that this eye. So these people they were using stones. Just stones to mine. To mine. Okay. So uh, Africa is really blessed. The richest continent on in the world, like no doubt about that. We've been in the olden days we are mining in here. I mean, what else should I tell you? We want to see after them. They were using their own head, they were using their own technology. These were Africans, when Europeans, when Americans, when white people were not here in Africa. I went to Kenya and this is what I saw. People were making tea, they were plugging tea, they were doing all sorts of things with their own hands. They were doing it without machines. This is the good thinking of an African. This technology, this is African. They were not using machines. And if we need machines, let's go to Cote d'Ivoire. We have cocoa. Cote d'Ivoire has cocoa too. And they can refine it because they have machines. Why don't we collaborate and send this cocoa to Cote d'Ivoire? They refine and spread it across Africa. But we still take it to the West. The, 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 West, the West for them to produce it for us and sell it back to us, very expensive. Because we need aid. We always need aid, Africans. We need to come together. They are wise people out there. They are talented people out there who can use their hands to work. Who can manufacture things with their own hands. Look at this guy right now. He manufactured a, a, a solar system that produces soap and water at the same time in one container. In one container. And this guy is a Ghanaian. He's not going far from us. He's a Ghanaian, an African brother. Why are we hurting ourselves? Look at our mothers. Let's go back to the 19th, the 20th centuries. Look at our mothers. The 18th centuries. They were giving birth without hospitals, without going to the hospitals, but they were giving birth at home. Even in the 19th century, these things were happening. And I tell you right now, things really happen in the villages here in Africa where our mothers don't go to hospitals to give birth. They stay home using herbs to give birth so easily without touching them with any metal. They stay home to give birth just using herbs and they give it birth easily without going through any pain. These are wise, talented, gifted Africans. Why are we doing this to ourselves, African brothers and sisters? Let's just come together as one people, build our continent, and share what we have as big. Fine, it's good to travel, it's good to know others' culture, but why not bring it back and build our country, build our continent, build ourselves? Why Africa? Anything that happens in the West, which is inferior, they bring it to Africa. This hat I'm wearing was made by African, which we get it from a tree. It's from a tree. This is a raffia leaf. Like we can make things ourselves. This is talent. And Asians are making it. Uh, Mexicans are making it. 
they do this for their celebrations. This is their culture. Why can't we ma maintain our own culture? Africans, we need to build ourselves up. We have a lot to do as Africans. We need to grow as Africans. We need to stay together as Africans. This is where I want to be. Because life is simple as A, B, C, D. Mangoes are on the trees everywhere. You can plug anytime. Coconuts are everywhere. We can plug anytime. All kinds of fruit you want is here on the continent. Someone living in Africa, someone living in, in, in some parts of Africa is feeling so good under so ventilated trees. No AC but feeling so good. Our parents were doctors. Our mothers are doctors. Without going to school, they are still doctors. Because they keep growing up little kids to the age where they take good care of themselves. When they were growing up, there were no hospitals. To take care of them but they could heal themselves with the help they could heal themselves with the help they were not going to hospitals whenever they got sick there were no hospitals i mean there were no hospitals when my parents my grandparents my great grandparents were growing up there were no hospitals but they could heal themselves anytime they get sick and they recover and recover so well they were growing to the ages of 109, 18, 190, 200. These were African ages. Because they ate good food. They ate from their backyard gardens. They ate from their big plantations. Not what they put in cans, what they put in rubbers. What? They, what? Now Africans are really killing themselves because we don't patronize our own staffs. All we need is we patronize from the from the west and it's so inferior the western hemisphere they're up there they don't know what about what whatever we have but they come here to explore because when the person is from western world coming to africa he needs a local man to take him around and why are these local men doing that? they take them around to show them what we have and they take it go back to the western hemisphere go back to europe go back to america go back to canada go back to russia and then they make good things out of what they got from africa they come back to africa sell it to us and we can't even buy we need to grow on it we need to, 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 to credit it and later we can pay again then they take charge of our lands they take charge of our buildings they take charge of families why we need to sit up as, as, as Africans. African leaders, we need your help as well. Because without you, we can do anything. Without you, African leaders, we can't do anything. Let's sit up. We will build this continent together. Whatever it takes, however it takes, we're going to do it together. Africans, we are one people. Let's continue to be one people. Wherever you find yourself on this continent, remember you are african with the skin with its melanin remember you are from africa but wherever you were born you are not a stranger here on the continent if you leave ghana to nigeria you are african if you leave nigeria to south africa you are african if we stay together as africans we are going to build our own continent and people are coming here every day and not like you can't believe it. Tourists from outside the, con the continent are coming here every single day. Every single day. They always say poor man has no friend. But they come here every single day. They are not our friends. That's what they say. But they come here every single day. Poor man has no friend? No. That's a wrong statement. They should show you the riches and the natural resources that we have that they want to take from us. But this is the time we need to stay together as one people, as one continent and move forward. Africa, this is what we've got. And let's stay tuned for another episode. If it's your first time being on this channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell to get a notification anytime I post a video. And please, stay safe as always. Catch you on another episode. Peace out. Let's live in Africa. No more war.
no more war. No 